good day. This is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. As you can see here, we are back with our TK25 smartwatch. Our previous video, we discussed or we have the unboxing of its design, specs, and UI, as well as the menus and features of this outdoor style smartwatch. On this video, we are going to explore more on the additional features particularly on the support app of the TK25 smartwatch. We are going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to pair it with its support app on the Android smartphone. So if you are interested to see on how to see the process on how to pair it with the support app, watch this video. And again, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, seems like we still have enough battery here as you can see. Let's try and install the support app for this wearable. Let's check if it's available here. So we have a QR code here. I'm not sure if this is the support app or a website. Anyway, we do have here the QR code. Usually, the latest smartwatch in the market do have a QR code in the menus if it's not let's check on the settings so we have here as you can see here we have the QR code and we have the name of the support app XOFIT okay so we are not familiar with this support app anyways let's check it on the Google Play Store I'm going to activate the internet connection here Wi-Fi so we are already connected let's search ExoFit so we have here are there any other ExoFit here no okay so we have the application here and we have 500,000 downloads so it's getting popular Compatible with Android and iOS. So this one, we have 64.38 MB, Android 5.0 and up. Released on May 25, 2022. It was several years ago. Okay, so let's try and install this application for our TK25 smartwatch. Tap on install. So let's wait for it to finish downloading and it will automatically install the ExoFit application on our Android smartphone. So 64.80 MB. So we are on the 90% here, 93%, 97, we're almost done here, 99%, and it's now installing. So let's wait to it. Let's wait for it to finish installing and now as you can see so we're done okay so let's open okay let's open the application so we have here user privacy so we'll agree to it we have our first permission here allow exofit to access this device location while using the app physical activity will allow it then access your phone, call logs, allow it. If you're not comfortable with their permissions here, you can disable it. Okay, allow ExoFit to access your contacts and nearby devices. Make and manage phone calls. Seems like every permission is already activated here on the first stage of the opening of the application. Make and manage phone calls, view SMS messages, allow it. Access photos and media on your device, will allow it. ExoFit, so welcome to ExoFit. Yeah, have read and agree. So this is just a demo, so we'll not sign up. But if you want to store your data, you can sign up using your Google account or your other emails. In our case, we will log in directly. 
So we're done. Seems like the setup here is somewhat similar to the HR Wi-Fi application. Then let's encode here. Okay. I just put a temporary name here. Please enable notification usage permission. Go to set. Let's look for the exofit. We'll activate it. Allow. Okay. So we're done. So here's the UI of the application. For the health section, for the sports data. So this one. Okay, this includes the, also the health. Maybe this one is the daily activity for one week. This is the sports section and this is your profile. To add your device, tap on search device. Please turn on location service. We'll activate it. Okay, go back. Let's open the app again. Okay, search. And we have here the TK25 smartwatch. So tap on it. Then again, tap on the TK25 and it will pair. The app will pair with our smartwatch. Device connected successfully. Bluetooth pairing request pair. And as you can see here, we are connected. Okay, so let's check. Although we already activated some of the permissions, let's double check. Message reminder. As you can see here, some are activated already. Okay, you can disable some of the apps here if you like. There's no issues. Okay, if you don't need some of the apps here, you can just ignore it. Message reminder. We have a sleep monitoring player, 24-hour clock, or 24-hour clock here. So we'll use our time of the smartphone. Follow the system here. Synchronize system time. Seems like every feature here has already been set. So we will not activate here the automatic measurement to save battery go back we do have the remote sleeping monitoring okay leave it is leave it as it is wearing method synchronize time set successfully okay are there any other settings phone book let's add a number here Add one, import. Let's add this. Okay, synchronize. So let's check. Okay, as you can see here, it's now synchronizing. Okay, let's check. Pedometer, heart rate, blood oxygen. Dial. Let's see. Contacts, and we have it here. Okay. Then, unit switch. Okay, we'll leave it metrics and Celsius. And I guess that's it. Very easy to pair and so far as you can see, we did not encounter any issues at all. And seems like it is stable. We are still connected. Okay, so very easy to pair our TK25 smartwatch with the ExoFit application on the Android platform so if you have any questions regarding the video demo for the pairing of the tk25 with a exofit app drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if we do have that time bye